<laughs> Man, it's crazy. Seems like just yesterday you stand up at the posters all wide-eyed. <laughs> You've been through a lot. Hell, I put you through a lot. But it was all for one reason, to get you here. Your first UFC championship. I just want to say, uh, no matter what happens out there, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the fighter you've become. Yeah, don't get me wrong, though. If you lose, I'm gonna have to bust you up in the gym next week. <laughs> I already made space on the wall for a new picture, and you know how much I hate redecorating, right? So let's go get that belt, champ. height and reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a kickboxer. Only a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, presenting the challenger, Thompson! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer. Only a professional record of 21 wins, six losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Oh! 
All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, Jim? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you will see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards. And as usual, we see letting this fighting do the talking tonight. Letting this fight do the talking, and he's all business. He, he's a businessman. He's here to win, go back to England, and do his thing with his family. He's not going to be on TV and hollering. He's a guy that's here to do it. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Great punch. They continue to exchange. Body kick. Oh, useful left hand. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. The overhand left is true. Another strike to the head lands. Kick to the body by Edwards. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Straight punch lands. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Taken down by Edwards. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Big kick. Ooh, that up got landed for him. Total strikes. Nice hit. Oh, there we go. Looking for a guillotine. Oh, man, that was slick. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Five minutes in the books. there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Okay, now Round two fight. here. Back to the jab now, no good. Edwards gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. The right hand just misses. Thompson gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Big punch lands through the middle. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Devastated body with the land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Down to three minutes now to get in the round. 
All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of power. Oh, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Bottom fighter trying to control. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. So we pull up the numbers here. 45 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. Well, and anytime you're above 50%, you got to feel pretty good about that landing. Oh! Pressure being applied here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Getting tighter. and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to arm triangle choke and new! number one contender he leaves as the undisputed best welterweight in the world and i say that because he didn't just come in here and wrest the belt away from the champion he submitted the guy and rather emphatically so you're looking at him that is the new ufc welterweight champion and as he celebrates in the corner you can't help but think that this could be an extended run for him here at 170 pounds